everybody, Josh here with Mentor Public Library's Art Apocalypse, our weekly arts and crafts video series. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own ice cream. It's the perfect thing to do. Uh, it's the end of summer, it's hot out, nobody likes sweating all the time. So let's get a tasty treat going uh, with some household ingredients, and I'll show you how that works in just a second. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need a few things. Um, you're going to need a pint size uh, Ziploc bag a uh, gallon size Ziploc bag full of about three cups of ice. Um, so empty a few ice cube trays or if you have a party or something and uh, you got leftover ice hanging out, um, this is the perfect time to make some ice cream. This is a tablespoon of table sugar. This is about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I have a cup and a half, um, or for you, uh, what is that? Metric system people. <laughs> uh, 400 milligrams, uh, milliliters, hello, of um, half and half. A cup and a half of half and half. Um, and then you can add whatever else you want to it. I'm going to put in some blue food coloring. If you got like sprinkles or any other kinds of flavor extracts, like mint would probably be good. Uh, some chocolate chips, that kind of thing. Um, whatever you want. Well, make your own ice cream. You can put in your own flavors. The only other thing you'll need, hopefully you have some laying around in your garage, is a little bit of rock salt. This is about a half a cup of rock salt. Like the stuff you throw in your driveway in the winter um, to melt the ice. To get started, um, you're going to take your pint size Ziploc. Uh, carefully, carefully, and if kids, if you're watching this, don't do this on your own. Ask for a grown-up, because we don't want to make a mess. You're going to take your half and half and pour it in this bag. And I'm probably going to make a mess, and I'm a grown-up. So, okay. Got that in there. And then you're going to put in your vanilla. And your table sugar. I almost called it salt. You don't want to use salt. That will not make good ice cream. Um, so the only other thing you'll want to do then is just put in your uh, extras, I guess. Your food coloring, your sprinkles, your chocolate chips, whatever. Um, like I said, I'm going to make some blue ice cream because I think that's kind of cool. So then you seal up your bag. Double, triple check it to make sure that it's super tightly sealed. If, what we're going to end up doing is shaking this around a lot. Um, so if it opens while you're doing that, then you run the risk of ruining your ice cream, which would be very, very sad. Okay, so then I came with my ice from home. Um, but what you'll probably want to do is about half of this, like leave it half empty. Um, put your bag of half and half and stuff in um, and then surround it with the other half of the ice so that way it's coated on all sides. I'm going to do what I can here. It won't be... Like I say in every video, this won't be perfect, but we'll do the best we can. Um, and then last but not least, you're just going to dump in your uh, rock salt. And then we're going to seal this bag up super tight. And then if you have like a uh, dish towel laying around, it probably wouldn't hurt to wrap this up in that. In case of any spills, but also because while you're shaking it, the rock salt's going to melt the ice. Um, it's lowering the temperature of that water so that it'll, it'll freeze the half and half. But yeah, your hands would get really cold if you did this uh, without a towel. So all you're going to do here is just shake it up. Um, I'm going to pause here and um, shake it for about three minutes or so. And then you guys should do the same. And I will be right back to enjoy some ice cream with you. I shook mine for about three to five minutes, uh, somewhere in between, which would be four minutes. My bag broke, um, so a word of advice is that you should probably shake it over your sink because there's probably going to be some water uh, flowing around. When you're done, sorry, shaking, you know, I'm out of breath, I'm old. What do you want from me? Um, <laughs> so when you're done shaking, um, take your ice cream bag out of the bigger Ziploc. Um, rinse it off because it's got all that rock salt on the outside of it. Um, and then you can t pat it dry with a towel. And then you just open it and see what happens, right? 
I'll put mine in a bowl here. Okay. All right, so it's a little soupy. Um, if that happens, put it back in the bag and you can shake it around some more and maybe add some more ice because chances are it'll firm up the longer you shake it. But let's give it a taste test. And that's pretty good. Enjoy. Thank you.